For more than 30 years, computers have been part of our everyday lives. One of the key challenges for developers is the interface between humans and computers. What should it be like so the highest possible number of people can use the product? The target group that programmers imagine while working is the A and O, or rather the 1 and O, in order to answer this question. What has to be taken into account? First, I methodology. I methodology refers to a design practice in which developers use themselves or their immediate environment as role models for the things they create. Most people who do research in human-computer interaction are male and highly educated. The needs of people who do not match this social group are often not considered. The real target group is overlooked. You should therefore work in teams that are as heterogeneous as possible, including people of different genders, educational backgrounds, origins, ages and physical abilities. Second, diversity. There is no product that is equally usable for all people. Therefore, clearly define your target group and think about how diverse the people in this target group are. For example, do you want to tap into the elderly as a new target group? Consider what their real needs might be and for whom exactly you want to design something. For older men or women? With physical limitations or without? What is their educational background? Why haven't they used your product so far? What are the circumstances that have kept them from using it? Or do you develop a mass application for a huge target group? In this case, consider the influence of the gender factor in your research project. For instance, when your application allows for voice input, are all voices recognized equally well? Open door! Or does voice recognition fail with a higher pitched voice? Open door! Third, stereotype. One thing you need to avoid at all cost. You develop a product, you test it with men and women, you find differences between them and explain these differences only with the fact that these are two different gender groups. Why is this not a good thing? Because very likely there are other variables that actually explain these differences. For instance, it might transpire that gender groups are less different from each other than different age groups, namely digital natives and digital immigrants, and that therefore age is the essential category. This precise look at your target group in research, development and in the evaluation of your product sometimes demands more effort, but it is necessary in order to bring digital products closer to people. And products that do not allow themselves to be guided by stereotypes are not only customized for diverse target groups. These new ideas, patents and technologies also have an economic added value.